So every time that the frog dies, uh, we should also have a mini splash screen that appears. If you would like to just duplicate this uh, and change the colors and change the words, you go right ahead. I'm going to try out the vector-based graphic tools just so that we can give them a go. Um, so when you first cr click on the paintbrush to create a new paint a new sprite, uh, there's this button down here that says convert to vector. And so now the choices are over here, but they look slightly different. See all the little circles or uh, endpoints or nodes. And uh, if you haven't used vector graphics before, this might be a little bit odd, but what I'm going to do first is I'm going to draw a rectangle, uh, very similar to last time. Uh, first, let me zoom out and it'll be a solid rectangle. So let's just start with um, the same concept as last time. So it looks very similar so far. So now I'm going to just do a, um, a white rectangle on the inside. And there we go. So there's my white rectangle. And then this time I'm going to do a red rectangle instead of green. Rectangle. And I'm intentionally going to kind of make it wrong just so that I can show you a couple things. Now with vector graphics, what's interesting is that all of these things are still separate objects. Okay. And so they never get merged unless you choose to merge them. This editor doesn't really seem to have a, an easy way to merge things. Uh, you can see how one goes on top of the other and so therefore they have these buttons so if I want the white to go on top I can just simply click the white on top or if I want the white to go in behind the black uh, I don't I actually liked it the way it was um, but now I can just move these objects around and so if I want to get rid of them I don't use the eraser like you may be used to um, I use the delete key Okay. And then if I want to move things around, because it's just an object, I can just use the arrow keys. So what I've done is I've selected the object, and then I've moved the arrow, used the arrow keys, and I can line that up however I will. I can also highlight all of them, and there's this choice here that says group. And so I now that I've got these colors all happy, then I can do that, and then they move as a group. Okay? Uh, so what was I making? Oh, yes, I was making a... Uh, way to say that the frog has sadly passed on. So, frog has died. Okay, now there isn't really a lot of tech support, um, text support uh, with this graphic editor so whether it's centered or uh, anything like that you're gonna have to do that on your own however uh, for doing a fairly simple little splash screen that worked really well and if you ever want to just edit the text or edit the box or whatever it's very very simple to do so now that I can simply come back to my screen um, with my level up code I can almost copy and paste that so I'm just gonna cheat and if I drag that on to um, my love frogger has died code there it is uh, I did forget to name this properly so uh, we'll just put level up there and frog died there uh, not sure why that's down not uh, proper and then when I receive level up, so I can just can drag that over here. And so now when I go to the frog died, there it says when I receive level up, well, I, I want to see when I receive frog has died, which is going to have to be a new message. So I create a new message and we call it frog died. All right, so there's, there's the message and it will, um, oh, I've just edited the wrong one. Okay, so that that that'll that'll serve me right. So now I need to go back to the frog died and say, you are when I receive a frog died, and on level up, it should be you are level up. That's so easy to get confused as to where I am. So now I'm on frog died, and I display that, and it shows, waits two seconds, and then hides. Okay, so now we have to ask this, ourselves the question: When should we broadcast that the frog has died? 
And so we go back to the frog and here's our bell tolling. So that would be the time when we should broadcast a message. So there's the broadcast for game over, but we want to broadcast that the frog has died. So there it is. And sim simple as just dropping that right in there. And now uh, I do have it muted. Maybe I'll unmute it just for a second there so you can hear the sound effect. So we play the game. The splash screen appears. The sound effect plays. And I've lost a life. And I've lost a point, And I'm still on level one. So that's just a really simple way to do a uh, frog has died mini splash screen and tied in so that it happens at the right timing.